Hey guys, it's Vaughn, and in today's video, it's going to be kind of a haul slash review. I wanna to introduce to you guys a new food marketplace that came to my attention, and I wanna also take this opportunity to highlight some Black-owned businesses in this category that you may not have heard about before. So I'm really excited about today's video, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the marketplace that I'm referring to you guys is called Bubble Goods, and you can find them online. All the products that I show you guys today were gifted to me by the company, so I didn't pay for them with my own money, but I was so impressed by a lot of the items that I tried, I will absolutely be repurchasing. So what Bubble Goods is, is a transparent food marketplace. So you can basically go to the website and conveniently, from the comfort of your own home, shop food products that have been Bubble Goods approved. So that means products with ingredients that do not contain refined sugars, gums, fillers, artificial ingredients, dyes, trans fats, or hydrogenated oils. That means you'll likely find products from the best innovative category leaders and items that have been sourced and produced ethically and responsibly. So overall, I can really appreciate the high standards of Bubble Goods. And if you guys see anything that you like in today's video, definitely check out the website. I'll put a link below for you. And also make sure that you use my discount code so that you can save $15 off your first order of $75 or more. If you guys hear dogs barking in the basement, okay? <laughs> That's what's going on. <laughs> I wanna start off by sharing the items that I know are from black owned businesses. You know, it's Black History Month still. And I personally feel like the most impactful way to show up for the culture is through support of black owned businesses. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to share you guys is probably my favorite item out of everything so far. And that is this Aziza's Herbal Green Popcorn, you guys. Listen, this is so freaking good. Now I ordered these by the pair, so I already ate the other bag all by myself. This is an herbal green popcorn that starts off with an organic popcorn base, but you guys, this popcorn tastes like it has cheese on it. It is so delicious. And then you have that curry, you have those herbs. It's just so perfectly spiced and blended. It is so well seasoned, it is delicious. So I ate that first bag really quickly and it took everything in me not to eat this one because I knew I had to save one to show you guys, but it was so hard to resist because it's just that good. The only thing I would say is that when you're eating this, <laughs> be mindful that with all of those herbs and that curry in there, it's probably gonna stain your fingers a little bit because I was using these two fingers to eat and when I tell you my fingers were looking radioactive when I was done, they were yellow and green, but it did not phase me none because it was totally worth it. Very, very delicious. So I would highly recommend you guys give this a try if you have not already. This is a black owned brand. It's black woman owned. So I was really, really thrilled um, to learn about this popcorn. Popcorn is one of my favorite things to eat and I just absolutely loved having it this way. And you guys, this is my first time having popcorn in this way with herbs and spices. Normally I'm just kind of a truffle oil and salt girl, but man, let me tell you, this changed everything. Like I said, I ordered it by the pair. I have to quickly go and order more because I do not want to run out. This is the perfect snack. And just so delicious, makes no sense. Okay, next for snacks, since we're talking about snacks, I wanted to share um, this gourmet potato chip brand. This is by Symphony Potato Chips, and this is of course black owned. These potato chips are so good, you guys. I feel like they were featured on so many different media outlets. All natural, gluten-free, no MSG. Just a very delicious, simple potato chip. Now, you're probably thinking that this is probably similar to kind of those kettle cooked chips that you see in the grocery store. I'm gonna say that these are a little bit different. They're not hard at all. They're a lot softer and thinner than those really thick cut kettle chips. And it's just kind of like that delicate crunch. This is the smoked gourmet seasoned flavor. So it kind of reminds you of a barbecue flavored potato chip. Just a very light, delicious snack that's made with very simple whole ingredients. Now here's another product that I wanted to share. This is Narito and it's a West African style tomato stew. I really wanted to try this you guys because I have not had a whole lot of experience with West African foods. And this is of course black owned and it's vegetarian. I also wanted it because it said that it was hot and spicy and you guys know I love hot and spicy food. That is my thing. I cannot live without spicy food. And it was described as overwhelmingly delicious so I had to put this in my shopping cart. Again, very simple ingredients, nothing you cannot pronounce, nothing you've never heard of before. And I love that with this product all you have to do is heat and serve. So it's recommended that you prepare it with meat or vegetables or even a starch. Next I want to show you guys another item that you can prepare with your food and that's that's going to be this extra spicy cayenne based all purpose seasoning by Pox Spices. I was really excited about this one you guys because I'm all about seasoning my food and getting a delicious outcome. But I really wanted to try this one because of the way that it was recommended that you prepare it. So I was excited to see what this sort of all purpose seasoning had in store. And the company sent me this thank you card which I thought was a really nice touch. A thank you. 
with a handwritten note just for me, them thanking me for my business. I thought that was so thoughtful and nice of them. And also it came with a recipe card, you guys, with kind of a suggestion of how you can use these spices to prepare a really delicious dish. Looks and sounds good to me, so I'm definitely going to be trying out the seasonings this way. And one of the things that stood out to me the most about this seasoning, you guys, is that it was surprisingly pretty low on sodium. Of course, Pox Spices is black owned. And really quickly, I wanted to share a quick dinner that I whipped up using some of these new items. I was so excited to give them a try, so I am having that tomato stew with some pasta. I'm seasoning some fresh salmon with this extra spicy, all-purpose cayenne-based seasoning, and I'm even sprinkling some on this fresh broccoli and popping it in the oven. Needless to say, this was a rather spicy dinner Dinner, but nutritious, balanced, and delicious. My husband loved it. And it wasn't too spicy, but just enough for a little kick and flavor. Okay, let me show you guys what else I got from Bubble Goods. This dark hot chocolate, which is infused with ashwagandha, which you guys know I've been kind of obsessing over lately. Ashwagandha is a very, very unique herb that can be used to help manage stress and anxiety. Also great for weight loss and all different types of ways of like regulating the body in terms of chemical imbalances. So I've been really loving the ashwagandha herb and I just really wanted to try this dark hot chocolate mix. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Elements Truffles. When I used to do my subscription box with my favorite things I included a lot of products from Elements Truffles. It's vegan, fair trade, small batch, and all plant-based, which I think is a wonderful alternative to some of the more mainstream hot chocolate mixes that are out there. Very easy to make at home, it just has a few simple steps. And this will kind of help me for sure with building up my arsenal of delicious warm beverages as I am taking a drastic pivot from coffee and caffeine. So yeah, really excited about this one. Next, I wanted to show you guys, let's start getting into some sweets and stuff. So. I'm really excited about this one, y'all. I ate one already because I could not resist, and let me tell you, delicious. These are maple pecan cookies by Jane Bakes. I love that these are clean, pure, with all natural ingredients, you guys. They have no artificial colors, they're low in sugar, 100% no preservatives, low on carbs, and it's a woman-owned business. First of all, these cookies are baked fresh, and the ingredients list is like nine things. Like, it's just simple, pure, whole ingredients, and the taste is absolutely absolutely delicious, you can tell they're homemade. The only problem you'll have with these is trying not to eat the whole thing because it looks kind of small, but yeah, it's a lot of cookies in here, so definitely want to pace yourself. Okay, next for something sweet, a sweet little treat for myself that I wanted to try is this Blake Hill Naked Peach Spread with no added sugar. That was the main thing for me, no added sugar. You guys, I absolutely live for preserves and things. I almost always have something like this in my fridge at all times. I like to just have this on a piece of toast, on a piece of fresh bread. It tastes really good on an English muffin too. It just goes so nice as a snack or something that you can have for breakfast. Mm, and just smells absolutely incredible, you guys. It tastes delicious, so you guys have got to give this a try. Now, moving away from sweet snacks so much, I wanna talk about a product that was very intriguing for me, right? This is a sun-dried basil cashew spread by Humble Nut Butter. You guys, this is a really unique product because it is a nut spread, but it's not sweet. I feel like the founder's story as to why they created this product really spoke to my soul. Like, I could really relate to it. The owners were just kinda trying to figure out a snack that they wanted for the day and they wanted something that was like a nut spray but they didn't necessarily want anything sweet and so they couldn't find anything like that on the market so they decided to create something and I'm so glad they did because I'm definitely one of those people who really enjoys nuts and nut spreads but I don't always want it to taste like dessert and let me tell you it is so good based on the taste of this I can see this going really good with like avocado toast or if you have like a wrap that you're creating. So I'm really excited to explore different taste options with that. So you guys, that is all I got from bubblegoods.com, but I did wanna share with you guys one more item that doesn't have anything to do with bubblegoods.com, but it's something that I wanted to share in this video because it's kinda on that same accord. So we were talking about black owned businesses in the health food, gourmet sort of category, and so I could not help but let you guys in on something that I am pretty sure you have not heard about yet, but you're gonna hear about it today. So, when you guys go down the bread aisle, did you know that there is zero black business representation in the bread category, period? Like, there are no black-owned bread manufacturers 
in that category. I did not know that until three black gentlemen decided that they were going to challenge that by creating the first black owned bread company called the Black Bread Company. And these are the two loaves that I decided to try from them. These are the two that they have available right now. The first one is a premium white bread and the other one is a honey wheat bread, which is the one that my daughter loves so much. So we had to get that one. So this bread company is brand new. They just launched this month. I ordered these online, but they are available in select stores. So they are not as widely available as they should be but we are going to change that because you guys are going to blow that website up I will put a link to the website below and right here they are available in a couple of local stores um, in the Chicagoland area so make sure that you guys check out the website so that you can stay up to date on when this bread is available in a store near you but like I said they're just starting out so they're trying to really penetrate this market and we can help by supporting when I first ordered my bread they sent me this nice customer card which explains to me you know what my support is helping the company to do and they also informed me that I was one of the first 1,000 people to support so I was really really excited about that and it really is my honor to sit here and bring this to you all I was not asked to talk about this company I found out about them because one of the three co-founders is someone I actually went to college with so that's how I knew about this and I was just so excited that I wanted to share it with you all so that you guys can support as well because this is major and I just really love you know hearing about the backstory as to what really motivated these three gentlemen men to even take this on you know this is bigger than bread you know it's bigger than business it's about encouraging creativity and securing generational progression to sustain marginalized communities got that off the card and of course I had to taste the bread just to make sure you know it was good and I compared labels between um, the black bread company bread and the Sara Lee bread that I already had in my pantry and I see no reason not to buy black um, going forward when it comes to supplying bread for my household I see no reason the nutrition facts are pretty much the same and it tastes great so I plan on being a regular customer and I hope this video inspires you guys to do the same so once again I'll put all of the links in the description box definitely check out bubblegoods.com check out their selections I am one 100% sure you will find something that you will want to try out. There is so much to choose from, so many different categories. The website is super easy to navigate. You can go right on there and go right to the category of items that you might be looking for. And definitely check out the Black Bread Company, go to their website, check out their Facebook page. Let them know Miss Bond TV sent you, okay? <laughs> and support black owned businesses. Like I said earlier in the video, the best way to support our community is to show up economically. And it has absolutely been my pleasure to be able to shed light on black owned businesses in this category. I know a lot of times with us, you know, we tend to show up pretty heavily in fashion and entertainment, but you know, we're also present in the health and gourmet food category. So I just wanted to do my part to highlight some incredible businesses that are doing exceptionally well in that space. And I hope that you guys will check out the links below and I will talk to you in my next one. Mwah.